Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be talking about the drug salbutamol, also known as albuterol or by the brand name Ventolin. Salbutamol belongs to the selective beta-2 adrenergic agonist drug classification. Adrenergic agonist means that salbutamol is stimulating the sympathetic nervous system. Adrenergic represents the sympathetic nervous system and agonist represents a stimulating response when binding to a receptor. Salbutamol stimulates the sympathetic nervous system by binding to the same receptor sites as epinephrine and norepinephrine, which are the main neurotransmitters in this nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is also known as the fight-or-flight nervous system and is responsible for actions like bronchodilation, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, and also decreases the activity of our digestive system and our body's normal resting functions. Specifically, salbutamol is a selective beta-2 agonist, meaning it stimulates the beta-2 receptor effects, mainly causing bronchodilation. Salbutamol is most often prescribed via inhalation route, but also comes in the form of oral tablets and nebulizer solutions. Salbutamol is used for symptomatic relief of acute asthma attacks, which may be exercise-induced, allergen-induced, or from other causes, and is also used for the prevention of bronchospasms in asthma, chronic bronchitis, and other disorders which may cause bronchospasms. Salbutamol is a short-acting bronchodilator, which is sometimes referred to as a rescue inhaler due to its quick onset of about 5 to 15 minutes. This makes it a priority for the treatment of asthma attacks. Some common side effects of salbutamol are fine tremors, headache, anxiety or nervousness, and dry mouth. Less common side effects include tachycardia, arrhythmias, hyper or hypotension, and paradoxical bronchospasms, which is the rapid onset of bronchospasms shortly after administration of an inhalant. Paradoxical bronchospasms can be life-threatening and may occur with excessive use of salbutamol. Use salbutamol cautiously in patients with heart disease, hypertension, diabetes mellitus, glaucoma, and seizure disorders. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of salbutamol. Watch for changes in heart rate like tachycardia and arrhythmias. To decrease dry mouth and changes in taste, it's important to teach patients about rinsing their mouth after each use. During an asthma attack, always use a bronchodilator first, like salbutamol, to open the airway quickly. If available and necessary, a corticosteroid inhaler should be used after the bronchodilator to increase the effectiveness of the corticosteroid and decrease inflammation. An easy way to remember this is B before C, which stands for bronchodilator before corticosteroid. If your patient is going home with salbutamol, always ensure they understand how to properly administer their inhaler by getting them to perform return demonstration. A good general rule for inhalers is to inhale for 3 seconds, hold for 10 seconds, and exhale slowly through the nose. And ensure your patient understands the importance of following the ordered dosages, reporting to their healthcare provider if symptoms do not improve after use, and not over-medicating on salbutamol. And that's about it. If you would like to try a free nervous system drug quiz, I've placed a link in the video description for that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or visit rpnt.ca for more help.